Good morning. So, I'm here at the wonderful Yuli Bari um, uh, to talk about black and white photography. Um, so, uh, this morning I'm using my camera, I'm using it on RAW, uh, but I've set my um, Nikon Z7 to, um, to black and white. Um, so that I can kind of see in black and white and really kind of get a feel for this um, space in black and white. Now, I've never been to Yuli Bari in the snow. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's the first time. And I, one thing that I love in my work, um, in terms of my art and for my photography, is contrast. Dark and light is so important in what I do. Um, so, um, what the, the, the fantastic thing about mirrorless cameras as well is you can, uh, you can set the setting to black and white and keep it in RAW. So you've still got, you've got the best of both worlds. You can see the screen in black and white and you can see the viewfinder in black and white. But you're able to also have the RAW file to do with what you like. Um, so that's, that's, that's fab. So um, this is the lovely Downham Hill and um, also known as Pox Hill. It's got, a, it's got an interesting and slightly gruesome history um, where people used to take their sick to the top of the hill. Um, but it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful environment. I photographed this in different seasons and today just fo photographing in black and white. So I'm going to start off by photographing without a tripod. Um, I'm using, um, in terms of the settings I'm using, uh, where am I? Um, so, I've been using um, about um, uh, 250th of a second um, F10 and ISO 100, and that is more than enough to go handheld. You don't really need a tripod. Um, I'm going to put my camera to um, high release mode, and I'm going to put it on um, a bracket of three. That way, you can just get some quick shots and you don't need to um, faff about too much with the tripod. Now, I've been using a tripod a little bit earlier. Um, I've been here for a while trying to get different compositions. The light is absolutely fantastic today. Um, so it's glorious out here. So let's take some shots. So first of all, this is an angle. I was, I was um, taking an angle from over there and then I'm gonna take an angle from this side and photograph from this side. Right, so when I'm photographing, I'm able to actually see it in black and white, get a real feel for the composition, and try out some different angles. Right, now I'm going to go wider, just across the scene, maybe bring in some of this lovely environment here. Let's have a look. And then I'm going to photograph over to Cam Peak. So Cam Peak is where we're, um, where we're ending up. It has amazing bluebells in spring on Cam Peak. And it's quite a um, stunning area. Now I've done a video here before, um, which is uh, three tips for landscape photography. And I'll put that up on the link here. But for now, let's take some more shots. So just a little one of Cam Peak before we go down to actually see Cam Peak. So what I'm looking for in the composition are leading lines, things to lead me into the space. There's some absolutely beautiful hedgerows kind of zigzagging towards Camp Peak. So I'll put that shot and the shots of Down and Hill up now and then we'll move on to the next location. Hello, so down in the uh, woodlands in, in Yili, and it is just a winter wonderland down here. It's quite fantastic. 
So I'm going to take some shots again using black and white, just thinking about the contrast, thinking about the lines. Now, this woodland is so kind of uh, jumbled and, uh, and quite kind of messy to photograph. So um, in instances like this, you really need fog or mist. And if you don't have it, um, best thing is to really, really focus on composition um, and zooming into a particular area of the forest and really, really focusing on that. And that's what I'm just about to do. Okay. So let's see what else we can see over here. Um, it's really, really important to just take time with compositions and take time in a place and try and work out your scene. Um, a lot of that involves taking it off the tripod and putting the tripod to one side and just looking around you and really exploring with the camera. So that's what I'm going to do now. So seeing in black and white is just so important, being able to kind of um, see the composition and see it differently. This woodland's quite busy actually, so I might move on and take some other shots as I go and, and see what I can find. Um, woodland is really, really important, as I say, to isolate the subjects. Um, and I'm not sure if I've quite done that enough. So let's move on and see what we can find. So this is another wonderful location. Um, now, sorry, I'm probably quite silhouetted against the sun. It is incredibly bright. But we've got this fantastic um, uh, view here of, uh, of Yuli and uh, this long cam behind me, which is fantastic. And then this kind of this row of trees coming out here. Now I photographed these rows of trees in lots of different seasons. Um, I photographed them in the mist in the summer are beautiful and in the snow working in black and white again you get that real contrast now um it's mostly really in terms of settings about just being able to to to, to get the exposure right again it's about composition and um and just um really really focusing on that on that contrast in terms of settings the only settings that are important is not allowing it to overexpose. So as I'm photographing, I'm making sure of a couple of things. I'm not using any filters. When it's really, really bright like this, using filters can create all kinds of nasty lens flares unless you're at the right position for the sun. And as I uh, continually seem to be photographing into the sun, it's really important that I, I don't use filters. So here goes. Well, I can barely see. Right. Um, this is where using the viewfinder comes in nicely. Now, got my composition set up, got my level set up. I'm on 160th of a second, f11, and ISO 64. Now, let's just get that two second timer going. And then bracketing again, just to get that exposure right. Um, now, a lot of it won't be HDR, it's just a matter of just getting the exposure right when it's so bright, it's quite tricky. I can barely see as I'm speaking to you. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm going to zoom in to the row of trees now and really focus on them. Um, again, I'm just really interested in the contrast. Sometimes it's really important to just focus on contrast rather than getting everything perfectly exposed. Contrast, I think, brings a lot to landscape and it creates the sense of drama that I love in landscape photography. Brilliant. I'll put those up on the screen now and you can have a look.
This place is a wonder, it really is. It's just full of really, really a special um, atmosphere. There's farm life, there's roads, there's tractors, there's people. It's not a wilderness, but it's a, it's a glorious place. Right, let's see what else we can photograph around here. So, here we are at the last location. Um, this is the wonderful Long Cam. Um, you've got a 360 degree view of Yulibari and Downham Hill and the entire area in Cam Peak over there. Um, it's a fantastic area. So, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna put a link to another video up here about my art and about the use of black and white in my art and the way that I approach sketchbooks. And until next time, See you then. Bye-bye.